G'day guys and welcome back to the channel. In today's video I'm checking out a new course that's just come to GS Pro and there's a really cool story behind this course because the actual developer or the designer of this course, David, he actually reached out to me and this is his first course on GS Pro and he reached out to me and he basically said that he found my channel, he's watched all my MLM2 Pro videos, it inspired him to basically build his setup, he's built his setup, he was playing GS Pro and now he's actually designed a course for GS Pro. So we're gonna go check out his first course on GS Pro today. I love stories like that. If you have a story like that where you've been somewhat influenced or inspired or the channel has somehow helped you, definitely reach out to me. I love hearing all those stories. So today we are playing the Hills at Portal. And like I said, this is David's first course, the designer, Crenny Boy, Let's get into it. This course is in Canada. There's so many good courses, or there seems to be so many good courses in Canada. On GS Pro, there's just so many of these courses now in Canada that are just incredible. We're gonna jump in and play the Hills at Portal. I still don't have a driver, but the good news is it looks like this is a short course. So off the black tees, it's only 6,300 yards. Looking at the elevation, we've got 500 or 600 feet of elevation, Stimp 12 normal normal for the fairway and green firmness for the holes today we're going to go play hole two three six nine ten fourteen and eighteen that should give us a really good feel for this course let's jump in and play the hills at portal i'm really excited to play this as always guys if you do enjoy this channel you do enjoy my content please like and subscribe it does help out the channel. The more subs we can get, the bigger that we grow this community, the better. I am also trying to grow Instagram and the Facebook group. I am finding it hard to keep up with all the comments now on YouTube. So if you join the Facebook group and ask your questions there, if they're in-depth connection questions and things like that, definitely go there and ask those questions because there are a lot of people on there that can help you a lot quicker than I can. I will get to every comment. I, I, I will get to every comment. However, just be aware that it's taking me a bit of time now, now that I'm back at work, I'm back doing things. Um, so yeah, keep the questions coming. If you've got in-depth questions, jump on the Facebook group. This course looks super tight. I mean, this is the second hole, it's a par five. It is just tree lined. Let's see how we can go. We'll do a flyover. So the second hole, like I said, this is just tree lined. Look at that wall of trees all the way down the left-hand side. This is gonna be tough. I guess it's not a good time now to say that I'm going through a bit of a swing, swing change, or not swing change, but swing refinements, let's call it. Okay, let's try and get one down the middle. If not, it's gonna make for a very hard hole. That'll be just fine. Lovely drive. Stay in the fairway. All right, semi-rough's fine. Okay, so that's gonna leave 228 to the pin. I've got a hybrid. I'm on a bit of a right slope. This should be good because I am in the, the semi-rough. It'll take about a percent or two off the actual speed. So this should be good. Nice, smooth hybrid. Four iron's not gonna get there, so we wanna be aggressive. It was a solid strike. Get right for me. Okay, I will take that, not a bad shot. What you will notice, potentially, is that I'm having a few frame rate issues. So uh, my computer is struggling with this course, so I'm just gonna hit the less than key on my keyboard. We'll see the graphics change slightly, and hopefully now that gives us a bit of FPS because we've just taken away a few of the shadows. We've just made it a less graphics intense course for my laptop. All right, five yards, let's chip this in. Definitely not an easy shot. All right, I don't know whether to kind of semi-flop this or just hit a standard chip shot. I'll hit a standard chip shot. Oh, oh no, it's gonna, gonna make us putt it. Oh, you're kidding. I tell you what, I just made an absolute mess of that hole, especially after hitting a really good dry, uh, hot three wooden hybrid, sorry. Okay, it is what it is, third hole, par three. Let's try and make birdie here then. 178 yards, 
don't want to land it there. I want to land it about 168-ish, 167. So I'm just going to hit a solid eight. Try and fly it there, because it looks like the green, it looks like there's a bit of a ridge halfway up the green. So I'm going to try and fly it all the way there. Oh no, get left. Didn't hit that good. All right, it's gonna be a chip, potentially. I might putt this actually. All right, so I've got a 56 foot putt now as a feel. Not the best position to leave myself. It's a double breaker. Let's just get it inside that gimme circle. That is just fine. Really happy with that putt. Okay, we're at the sixth hole, par three. Look at this, there is just a tiny opening to this green. These greens are small. I mean, these members, I feel sorry for them at this course. This is a tough course. Just gonna be a solid pitching wedge. I'm sure this course in real life is absolutely beautiful. So maybe I don't feel that sorry for the members. Come on, be good. Oh, it's gotta sit. I nuked that. How have I hit that that long? 144 yard carry with a pitching wedge. Come on, come back. Keep coming. All the way back down, come on. Okay, 14 feet now, down the hill. Let's make a putt, I've got to make a putt. Surely one of these has got to drop. 10 feet is a feel. Too hard. Oh, that was silly. As soon as I hit that, I knew it was too hard. I've got to say though, I'm loving the HLA with the putter. I'm hitting really good putts. That's the good news. The bad news is I'm not reading them correctly. All right, ninth hole, par four. Look at this, dog leg left. I'm gonna to have to turn it around those trees. I mean, there's a bit of respite, but this is still a very tight hole. Oh, there's no way that was hooking that much. Really? It's on the cart path. I might have a shot. Okay, it is what it is. You win some and you lose some. I mean, you can hit a bad shot. Sometimes you get lucky, sometimes you don't. 170 yards out the rough. It's gonna come out right. This is a tough shot. I'm just gonna aim at the pin. I'll try and land it there. 162. So it's gonna play about 167. Um, Let's hit an eight iron. Oh no, duffed it. Not the place you wanna be, that, that front bunker. Does not leave you with a lot of green to work with. Let's have a look at this. Oh man. All right, short sided again. This is gonna be a tough one. Gonna have to fly it all the way there. Ceiling protection will get a workout. Oh, just short. It was such a good shot. So close to being really good. And now I've got a little six foot chip. Let's chip this in, come on. Come on. What a save, what a save. On to the 10th hole. So the 10th hole, short par four, but it looks like there's two, two fairways, I guess, two sections. So I'm potentially gonna have to lay up. Gonna be a four on. Four on off the tee, maybe even five iron to be honest. I don't want to hit this too long in the rough. We'll go with four. Oh, that is a massive hook. Okay. 136, we're dead uphill. So 147 now, out of the rough as well. So 154, it's gonna to have to be a nine. Come on, be good. Sit soft. I'll take that. That's not a bad shot from that rough. The nine iron's behaving today. It's doing quite well. 25 feet down the hill. I didn't hit that. Oh, that was silly. I just didn't hit it. I've got to get to under par. I have to get to under par. 
we're fighting. I should have birdied the first hole, but it is what it is. 14th hole, par five. This, okay, this is reachable. 470 yards on this par five. But look how tight it is again. That's the main defense of this golf course is you've just got to hit it so straight. And then look at this dog leg, big dog leg to the right. So ideally, this shot off the tee is going to stay in the left hand side of the fairway. Fingers crossed. Don't fade too much. Oh, it's going to be blocked out now. I bet the members watching this video of this golf course are just thinking that is the one place you don't want to be on this hole. Well, I guess you could snap hook it left into the trees. That's not ideal, but okay. Now we have 192. I might be able to slice this around the corner. Let's, let's go for it. Come on. Let's hit a four iron and I'm just going to slice this. So risk level has just gone to maximum. We're just going to hit a massive slice around the corner. Come on, keep slicing. Oh, it's not enough. Okay, it's not horrendous, but looking at this, I mean, I've left myself quite a tough up and down now. It's gonna be a flop, come on. Flop it close, get your birdie, get to one under. Sit, sit. Oh, I just hit that too hard. I just hit slightly behind it, which caused the club just to, to bump into the ball a bit too firm. 14 feet now. I mean, I'm just going to need to make a putt. Oh, you're kidding. I think I need to watch my video, how to read greens on GS Pro, because after having a break and not playing it a lot, and then coming back, I'm just struggling. I just can't read them. I'm hitting good putts. I just can't read these greens. All right, it's down to the 18th. I mean, I've got to birdie this hole. It is a par five, that's the good news, but it's dead uphill and it's about 560 yards. So it's a tough hole. Massive ridge there in the fairway where it goes up. And look how small that green is. The greens on this golf course are tiny. Oh no, not a good strike. Go on, get down there. Vertical launch angle was not good. Oh, look at this hill. Come on. I mean, that is dead uphill. I'm going to do it though. I'm going to hit three wood. We'll try and get it up there. Leave ourselves about 50 yards out. Hit it good. Oh, don't draw. That's fine. That's going to be fine. Okay, 37 yards. Come on, get this close. I want to carry this about 32, maybe even 30 yards. But I am in the rough, so it's going to take a bit of distance and a bit of spin off. So I have to play it a little bit higher. Come on, be good. Spin. All right, I'll take that. That's a pretty good shot from there. It all comes down to this. 15 feet separates me from under par. Come on. Oh, you're kidding. Oh, well, it was a pull. I guess I pulled it. That is the Hills at Portal, even par for that. All pars, pretty easy pars. Just couldn't get a putt to drop. Really cool course. Thank you for reaching out to me, David. I really appreciate that. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, let me know. Any comments or questions, let me know down below and I will catch you guys in the next one. Cheers.